All right, Shalom, first and foremost, I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakodash, for the Spirit to do this lesson. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who were well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. <clears throat> Shalom to the men of the Lord, prophesying, preaching, and teaching on the highways and byways in sincerity and in truth. Shalom, Barak uh, Your Brother Yorah, coming back at you. I'm going to just go through a few various news and prophecies here. Um, there's a video here by Dabu. Uh, man, these things are heating up, man, and I can't wait. You know, I released a video the other day um, saying Russia's got fighting words, and Biden Biden has uh, basically made an executive order, basically threatening them, man. So this thing is heating up. You know, I'm gonna play this video so you get a uh, a little bit more sense of what's going on. This is Dabu Seven, Joe Biden has now signed an executive order and has declared that Russia is a national security threat to the United States. They have also rolled out a series of sanctions. Now, they're trying to say that Russia's doing this, Russia's doing that. We've heard this for years coming from this side. Now, they're calling back individuals from their posts, and it's all tied into this multi-layered executive order that is going against Russia. Now, if you missed it, Russia is sending troops and big-time equipment into the border area around Ukraine. Right. So Biden is issuing an executive order, you know, saying that they're a threat to U.S. because Russia is putting troops on their own border. Think about that. <laughs> this, this man is the devil, and you can tell he's itching to go back to war. All right? Because what that means is big money for the, for these elites and everybody in, in, in the middle class and, and poverty level. That's a big fat L for you. Okay. This is how this is how the game goes. But see, when they do it this time, when they finally, uh, when that war finally revs up, everybody's going to lose. You know, Israel's going to be on top. All right. You, the elect of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who are the true Israelites, you know, uh, an elect remnant of us are going to be going to be chosen to be saved from the judgment that's going to come from all hell breaking loose, and most importantly, the thermonuclear missiles that's going to hit America uh, right before right before that heats up. All right, so this thing is close, man. They swoop down into Crimea. And there's not a whole lot of talk about what's being done on the other side. What we do know is this. The White House and the Treasury put these actions against Russia in the motion. They're saying that the U.S. is expelling 10 of its diplomatic personnel from the Russian embassy in Washington, which is also said to include intelligence officials. So you know it's getting real when they, they start telling the ambassadors to leave the U.S., you know, embassy. All right. So th this is this is when tensions heating up. You know, the U.S. will ban American banks from being able to buy new Russian sovereign debt starting on June fourteenth. So on June fourteenth, this thing goes into motion, and I expect we will see things escalate from here. It seems that this is what this administration likes, and this is the direction that they're heading. We also heard yesterday about all this troop thing, you know, being pulled out of Afghanistan. I'm not buying none of that. We've heard that so many times before, even under the Trump administration. And the thing is, they they could move those troops over into Europe, all right, or closer to the to the Middle East, that area, the Levant region, where we all know it's going to go down. All right, so hey, just pray we get out of here, man. And it was a shuffling of troops. Hmm. Seems you need some troops real quick close by in the Ukraine area. Right. We're going to have to keep an eye on where these troops go that are set to being pulled from Afghanistan. Right. So this is some of the latest so people know. Make sure to join me on the live streams. That's basically it on that, man. And we know Ezekiel 38, uh, the fifth chapter. Um. You start at verse 2, it says, Son of man, set thy face against Gog in the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. And that's basically the land where these Russians live, you know, and, and, and Eastern Europe in general, you know, Estonia, Latvia, 
um, uh, 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 Bulgaria, Ukraine, you know, that, that whole area, you know, uh, it says, and thus, it says, and prophesy against him and thus say, and the, and say, thus saith the Lord Jehovah, behold, I am against the Ogog and keep prince of Meshach and Tubal. I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws and will bring thee forth in all thine army. All right, because the most high, it, it, he's doing it now. He, he, he's, he's pushing Russia, you know, into this thing. You know, horses and horsemen and all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields. And Russia has their troops and everything set up on that border, man. You know, they're they're about ready to take <laughs> take Ukraine back. You know, it says all of them handling swords, Persia, Ethiopia and Libya with them. Now, Persia, we know, is Iran and and they uh they, they, they have an alliance with Russia at this point. All of them with shield and helmets. You know, I, I brought that out uh, earlier this week. So we basically know it, it's getting ready to go down. And as it said, the scriptures say there's, there would be wars and rumors of wars, you know. But look at all the other madness going on in the world. All right. And I'm going to just queue up Matthew 24 because we know we're living in the time that we're almost out of here. You know, that's why we have to be patient. You know, more so now than ever. Matthew 24 and 6, and says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. All right? For kingdom, for nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in, in, in diverse places. And we're going we're gonna to see these things. And we have been kind of seeing these things already, but we all know the world would, would get, would wax wickeder and wickeder, you know, before this thing would, would, would set off. All right. It's going into Jacob's trouble. All right. It says Biden's trillion spark historic lab shortage record record 42% of businesses can't fill job openings despite some Last week we made a remarkable observation despite some 100 million Americans out of the labor force, of which 94 million do not want a job. That's, well, we don't, we, got, we don't know how true that is, what those numbers are, but anyway, it, it's all discord, you know. The Most High is, is completely removing, you know, the mirth of this place away. It says Hong Kong billionaire newspaper tycoon. Jimmy Lai gets 12 months in prison for a role in anti-Beijing protests. Look, we knew the CIA would be infiltrating the media. It says now the CIA is the media. So you you basically can't trust. You need to filter everything through the spirit, man. Whenever you read stories in, in the news and the media, you know, th this man is, is a liar, you know. When you, uh, when you read Psalms, I believe it's the tenth chapter. It could be the twelfth. Yeah, Psalms ten and seven. Or I start at six. It says, He hath said in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. All right, and you, there's plenty of scriptures telling you about this man, and, and you have Jakes out there that are still buying, you know, shit from CNN, MSNBC, uh, Fox News, all all of these bullshit media corporations that are designed to just keep you asleep. At the end of the day, that's that's basically what their job is. You know, it's it's Esau's keeping his finger on the pulse of what of what the average so-called American is thinking and, and trying to control that narrative. All right. It says police eight dead in shooting at FedEx facility in Indianapolis. All right. And we, we know in, in, in second Ezra, <clears throat> it speaks about, uh, a great insurrection coming up on those that fear the Lord, men not being able to travel city to city. 
you know, men invading how different houses, going, you know, just thing things turning up all all over the world, and and in general, and that's going to be a plague on on Babylon, which is America. That's going to continue uh, all the way until the missiles come and take this place out. It says Pfizer CEO says, I can't even go in on this, but look, now they saying you need a third one, a third uppercut <laughs> within 12 months. Now, who stands to make money from this? Of course, they're going to say you need a third one. And you know what? In three, four or five months, they're going to say you need a fourth one and a fifth one, too. And you zombies are out there. Y'all believe this shit, man. This is how you know we're far gone because we're the young. Pretty soon, the men of the Lord are going to be the only ones willing to say anything true, anything. Right now, you got a few few people that might speak out against particular things that they believe is wrong, and they'll be, they'll speak truthfully on it. But it'll, it'll just be that one subject, you know. But pretty soon, nobody's going to be speaking anything. They're going to be afraid to speak the truth because Esau is going to make make it that way. All right. Facebook bans gun ads that spends millions on Zuckerberg security. Yeah, and, and see Esau's worried about all the guns that are here in America. And these Edomites that got that that that, that murderous spirit on them. You know? Look. Globalists will need another crisis in America as the reset agenda fails. All right. And this was predicted. Let me get Isaiah. Twenty four. Because this, this whole reset agenda. They're not going to let it fail. They've, they've done too much this time. They've made they've made too much progress when you got your average everyday American thinking they need to cover their face everywhere they go. Niggas in a car, <laughs> you know, with their face covered. All, all for something that, that 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 they're pushing in the media, you know. If if people are that far gone, man, they they've made a, a serious dent on, on the American uh populace, I'll say that. And they, and these people are always that stupid. But see, Esau made a major move doing this. And see, he's not gonna he's not gonna go back now. He's got too much control to let to let it go. What happened during uh, when they passed the Patriot Act after uh, after nine eleven? They said, well, we need we need to be able to look at everybody's computer and spy on you and do all of these things so so the terrorists don't get you, you know. So we need to look at everybody. You know, and they said it was temporary, but was it temporary? They never, they never peeled it back, man. They're still looking at you, spying on you, without warrants. They do whatever the hell they want, and no, and and look now, y'all falling completely back to sleep. But going back to this global agenda, which which it says here, they're gonna need to do another one. In other words, they, and they will. They're not letting this go. These globalists. This is Matthew twenty-four. And one it says in your uh Salakia, that's Matthew Salakia, Isaiah twenty four and one it says, Behold, the Lord Jehovah maketh the earth empty and maketh it waste and turneth it upside down and scattereth abroad the inhabitants thereof. And yes, what you people are in these lockdowns, eventually they'll get mad enough to protest, and then he he's gonna you gonna see them drones flying over your head, and everybody's gonna shut the hell up and go back inside like they were told. <laughs> All right. That that's the world that that's coming up now, man. This is the world that that's being created, and this is why the scriptures say. Actually, it's in Matthew twenty-four. All right. Where is it? No flesh left be saved. Yeah, verse Matthew twenty-four and twenty-two, and it says, "And except those days be shortened." There should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So the men of the Lord, we just have to stay patient, man. The Lord is shortening these days, and we just need the spirit of endurance. 
and to pray to hasten <laughs> that the day of the Lord is coming, man. But this is hell, man, waking up in this bullshit every day. Verse 2, it says, And it shall be as with the people, so with the priest, as with the servant, so with his master, as with the maid, so with her mistress, as with the buyer, so with the seller, as with the lender, so with the borrower, and with the taker of usury, so with the giver of usury to him. The land shall be utterly emptied and utterly spoiled, for the Lord Jehovah hath spoken this word. And Esau is spoiling you, man. He's ripped. He's ri there's there's more true there's more billionaires than double their wealth in the last year while everybody else's wealth and their little bit of savings they did had have evaporated than ever happened before in, in one period of time man esau's printing trillions of dollars you know he's taking land from people he's getting violent more even more violent belligerent he's setting up coups in different countries venezuela you know trying to do one in syria And this place is through Europe. Y'all y'all are utterly finished, especially y'all in the UK. The wealth is being is being taken from you place. All you people are are is work cattle. You go to work and you consume and you feed their riches, you know. It says verse four, the earth mourneth and fadeth away, and the world languisheth and, and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. All you proud people, y'all are languishing now, man. And for a brief moment, you OnlyFans thoughts out there, y'all y'all are thriving for 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 uh for a minute, for a year, you know, maybe a few months. But and and all of you women that quit your job to do that bullshit, very very soon y'all are gonna be judged. All right. Now wait till that phase away. The, you all you hardy women, you you prideful women that that, that look down on, on on average men because you look good. Or somebody told you, you know, your breath didn't stink. Y'all, y'all are in for a rude awakening, and then we're gonna see who the high value men are in that day. It says the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, they changed the ordinance, and broken the everlasting covenant. These laws are unrighteous, man. They're draconian, and they don't even make any goddamn sense, to be honest. This is why we got to get the hell out of here. And this is why uh, this globalist will need another crisis in America as the reset agenda. Affair. This is why it's going to happen. All right. Look, state required for, you know, Maxine Waters for those attending Burning Man. Man, people still doing that Burning Man bullshit. 142 people test positive after, you know. You know what? Look, you can read these. You can't really, you can't speak on these things on YouTube. They'll take your video down. Look, Bernie Madoff, the largest Ponzi scheme in history, down to 82. You eat them, mice are dropping. <laughs> but that's all right. The Most High is going to wake you back up out of the grave to catch a missile. All right. Oh, this here. Boston Dynamics robot dog testing and war training exercises. So, y'all was people was liking the video on the video of Boston Dynamics of the dog running around. But see, wait until you you know there's there's eighty thousand of them running around, <laughs> you know, with with with, with a, uh with guns mounted on them, you know, with perfect aim and precision, and they don't get tired. All right, <laughs> all right, so. You, you Jake's trying to come up the carnal way, man, trying to pick up a sword. You through, man. You can't mess with Esau on the, on the left-hand side with the, with the sword, man. Yahweh Bashimi, how a shot gave him that, you know? And, and, and instead of you repenting and coming back to him, you want to get carnal and try to do things on your own. Well, hey, if you don't, if you don't catch a missile, you're going to catch something from Esau. All right? Unless you repent. All right? But uh, I just wanted to bring out some of that news uh, on that that was on my spirit. You know, you brothers, keep watching, man. Keep praying. Keep hastening that we get out of here, you know. Call Halal Yehawah Ba'ashim Yehawah Shai Ba'ashim Rechakodash. So with that, hopefully that brothers were edified. Ba'ababa Ba'ashim Yehawah Shai Ba'ashim Rechakodash.